All right, let's look at uh, the template here as you open it up. Uh, Studio has all the Studio stuff in it. Um, we're going to need some access there. We're going to need to make things look better. If you haven't downloaded the CV tools and the content browser as per the other uh, tutorial I posted weeks ago, do that uh, before you start because you're going to need all that stuff to do this project. And let's make this look a little bit better before we start uh, animating. That'll be a little bit more pleasing to look at. Um, first things first, let's get some other materials in here. So there's a few things. If we come over to Content Browser, you should have a bunch of uh, materials in Presets. And if you unfold, then under Materials. And we have a lot of stuff in here. And so let's go ahead and put some sort of wood texture on the floor. So if we look wood, and you can make these bigger or smaller with this guy. And um, these all look really nice here in the preview, which is great because we can see what they look like at their best. Um, let's grab, yeah, that's parquet. And I'm going to bring this one in. Let's, uh, I'm trying to find one. Yeah, I'll use this for now. Okay, so I'll use this uh, ash because it'll allow me to do a few things. Get those. I want to have all of these in here, just the ones I need. So let's just bring this ash shader in. Cool. Now uh, I'll bring it up here, the floor. Actually, let's not do that. Let's come back to objects, and we don't want to just put these over top because if I put it on here, watch what happens. Now there's both materials, and I could just delete this one. Uh, but a uh, better workflow here is to just simply grab it and drag it on top and it'll replace that one. Cool. This doesn't look at all like I want. <laughs> Why not? Uh, it's because some of the materials in the content browser aren't set to work with the PBR workflow. That's how I have this project set up so that it looks really great. Um, fortunately, there's a CV tool that does this. And so I'm going to shift C. If you haven't installed PB, uh, CV toolbox, this won't show up. So you have to go back and follow that tutorial and do this. But convert uh, to PBR material. We're going to use this a bunch today. And so I'm going to park this up here so that I have it. Um, and so now I'm going to select this one that I know doesn't look good. And if it's too dark, you know, you bring something in and it doesn't look right, um, go ahead and select the material and press this button. It'll put a little yellow line over there. OK, boom. That is already way better. <clears throat> Great. Now, the other issue is that if it's super blurry, this one actually looks pretty good. Um, by default, let's see, it may look kind of like very, very blurry. Um, and it is, if you double click it, the viewport texture size okay? uh, by default is just super low res. And you probably want to bump it up to uh, just 2048 would be fine. If your computer is really slowing down at that point, you could do 1024. 2048 will be just fine. Please don't go to, you know, these other ones. Once you start having multiple textures open, things will slow down quite a bit. Cool. So that looks better already. Great. Now, um, that's just the idea. If something, if you bring something in for the content browser, it's not looking right uh, material wise. Select it and hit the convert to PBR material. And then um, make sure you come over to view, select it again and go to viewport and change the texture viewport size. Cool, that works good. Let's get a metal for uh, some of this other stuff. The content browser, let's go to the metal. And uh, I'm gonna try this, um, I'll go with this antique. Let's try this nickel. I like that. I'll bring that in. And same idea. Let's go ahead and um, this. There's no textures. These are all shader type things. And so with the metals, you know, the you'll have to do that with the converting for the PBR for the um, wood, but for the metal, most likely not. And so let's find out. If we just replace the bar, the metal it looks okay. 
We replace the hammer, the metal. That looks good. And let's do the other hammer. It's right uh, here. There we go. Those look nice. Cool. So let's go with that. Um, and let's make a material for the uh, for these two spheres. And so for this, I'm going to go to create materials, new PBR material. Uh, actually, Control Shift N. Let's see if that does work for me. Control Shift N. Cool. Gives me a new PBR material. PBR physically based rendering. Write that one down for your notebooks. Physically based rendering. And so uh, I'm going to open this up. And if you notice, uh, only the reflectance channel is on because the PBR works totally on reflectance. None of the other stuff is needed. And so I'm going to select that. And um, there's a bunch of stuff going on here. We have reflection, diffuse, another layer. Diffuse is the color, right? just the default color. And that's where we want to do something. So I'm going to select diffuse, I select reflectance, diffuse, and then the color. Let's have some fun with another. We did checkerboard before. Let's go to surfaces, tiles. And this will make a cool tile. And since we've got it there, let's go ahead and put it on one of these spheres here so we can see the changes we're making. And now if we click on the tile, uh, this is uh, pretty cool. We have some different patterns. First thing I'm going to do is turn down the grout width to one and bevel width to maybe five. These lines aren't quite as, as big and chunky. Um, it may take a second for the viewport to update, but you'll see it update here and then it'll propagate over there. That's better. And now let's come up with a reasonable color scheme. Please do not use the default color scheme. I'm going to do my favorite pink. There. Yeah, right there. Uh, and then let's do some shades of white. And so this would be what I recommend. Pick a highlight color and then get a couple shades of gray. Cool. Now uh, you can have some fun looking at some of the different line patterns. So, oh yeah, that'd be fun. That uh, that's a Veroni pattern, and uh, it'll give it a second to update over there. Let's see if it comes through. This and uh, yeah, it should update here in a little bit. Uh, depending on, I don't know why it takes longer in some instances. If it's, you know, give us a problem, so you can delete it here and then sort of reapply. See if that resets it. Ah, I get the same thing again. I'm just going to give it a second. I think it'll update. I'm going to make another one. Control Shift uh, down here, Control Shift N, and make another PBR material. Again, coming in here to the uh, reflectance. Under reflection, I'm going to dial down the reflection roughness. Maybe just two, and then go to the diffuse and do the same thing. Let's go to surfaces, and then tile. Go. Click on there. Give this a blue. That, and again, get some shades of gray. That and again dial down this uh, grout size so that it's there. There we go. And see if I can find a pattern I think it's gonna look good and contrast with my other pattern. That try that. And there we go. See that updated. Now let's put this one here. And it's a little big, and so I'm gonna go ahead and um, open this up again. And uh, here, and we should have our a horizontal and vertical scale. And so, if we bring this down, uh, we should get some more stripes per real estate. And uh, good, that's looking right, and that updated over there. Cool. 
Uh, this one, oh, we're getting that seam there because this isn't a repeating pattern. Let's pick something different. So. Let's try. That it's a little bit tighter. Say uh, 50, 50. Sorry, global scale. Yeah, we could just do global scale. We don't need to adjust. That should bring that down. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I think those two will go together. Better. There. Cool. This will update, like I said, in a second. Cool. And let's get the text figured out. So text, uh, let's put our proper text in there, impact. And go ahead and choose a new font. And uh, choose something <clears throat> where you're going to have all caps and a pretty heavy font weight. So you can, uh, so as readable as 3D type. You know, scripty things, very thin things don't really work as well. Uh, so I like this one I've been using recently. And there we go. Uh, now, to make it bigger, I can adjust the height here, and then it starts to run into things. So in this case, I want it a little bit bigger, and then I'm gonna just do horizontal spacing, which keeps, doesn't smush the type, right? Which is one of our cardinal rules as designers, uh, but does spread it out a little bit. So let's say right about there, I like that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna leave the white, come in with a different color. I think I need a darker floor color. Let's go come in here to content browser. Let's go back to that wood. Uh, here, is there a darker polished ink? Dark parquet. That is walnut. I'll bring this in. And again, do the same thing. Um, make sure this one is good. So I'm going to convert for PVR. Second, and uh, let's replace the floor with that one. So that's this one right here. I'm gonna bring this in right there. And uh, yeah, there we go. That's not bad. Uh, but the texture is too big, and so I'm gonna click here on the material tag. Okay? You see that this menu is different than if I double click the material. Because this is the options for the materials. This is the options for how the material is applied. And so here is where you can come in and uh, tile this. So let's say if I still not tight enough, let's say 20. Yeah, that's all right. Say 10. There we go. I like that. Better. And so uh, and then if I wanted to maybe. In this case, maybe put that nickel type here to that. Cool, that looks pretty good. And now I've got this uh, set up. You'll need to do the same thing with the other one. It'll be totally white when you open it up. Uh, if it, the material's not looking right, do that convert to PVR. If it's the pattern is off, select the tag and change the tiling. Um, and remember, if you make a new material, it's got to be a PBR material. There's all sorts of other materials. Don't need those right now. The whole thing is set up for PBRs, PBRs only. Um, physically based rendering, not past blue ribbon, physically based rendering. Great. Uh, next, we'll go over getting the animation started.